Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to our fabulous snow day. Today, I thought we would go and do something a little different. I'm going to show you how to get your computer to draw. So first, let's dive right into Scratch. Up here, remember, to get to a project, you click on Create. If you sign in, Scratch will save your work. And what we want to do is get to a special set of tools that we normally don't have on the screen. To do that, we're going to go over here to the lower left hand side. And you see this little button down here where it says add extensions. We're going to click that. And then what we get are all these different tools that we have access to. The one we want is the one that says pen. So we're going to click the pen. And now what we get are all these really cool tools we can use that we didn't have before. So let's dive in and start using some of those tools to get our cat to create some cool things. We need an event to kick us off. So we're going to do when green flag clicked. And I'm going to click on my pen tool. So first, I'm going to start with erasing the screen. That way, if anything is on there, we have the screen erased. Then I'm going to put the pen down. That's going to start the drawing. Wherever the cat moves is where we will draw. So I'm going to get the cat to move a little bit. How about, let's do some fun. Let's just go to a random position. So if I do that, hit the green flag, you can see the cat just goes to a random position and draws a line. Let's try that again. Drawing all kinds of really kind of cool lines. But what if we wanted the cat to draw lots of different lines? Well, I'm gonna switch this block out and I'm gonna do the block that's here. It says glide to one second to a random position. And now when I do it, you can see the cat is gonna draw the line on the screen rather than just the line appearing which is kind of fun, but wait, there's more. I'm now gonna go into my control menu and I'm gonna do a forever loop. Can you see where I'm going with this? I'm gonna put my forever loop in and now when I hit green flag, the cat starts to randomly follow a pattern and draw on the screen. Let's watch it for a minute and see what the cat is going to draw. Well, that's all really, really cool. Let's go in and add a little bit more to our project. Suppose we go into our pen tool and we have it change the color. We can change the color by 10. So each time it draws a new line, it will change the color a little bit. Let's try that. Again, it's gonna clear the screen for me. And you can see the pen is now changing colors as the cat draws. Let's see what else we can do. We can change the pen size to make it bigger. So we'll make it bigger each time. And see the pen size is getting thicker each time it draws it. That's a whole lot of fun.
Now if you want them to go a little faster, instead of gliding for one second, you could use a fraction. So we could say 0.2 seconds, and then he goes super, super fast. And really fills in the screen with some really cool designs. And the lines just get bigger and bigger and bigger. Eventually the lines are gonna be super thick. Now the only problem with this, when I hit stop, and if I start having the cat draw again, the pen size is still gonna be really big. Which is cool looking, but I want it to start at that first size again. So I'm gonna take this block here where it says set pen size to one. So now when I start, the pen will always start at that size one and then get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now you can also set the color yourself to a very particular color. And by clicking on this little spot here and changing the brightness, we can choose any color we want and draw with that color. Makes some pretty cool designs. We can also add in some other motion blocks in here. Suppose we also have him turn the an angle. And now he's kind of turning around the screen and it changes our design. But instead of we doing a random position, let's have him move just 10 steps. I hit stop and start again. Let me do this again and get him back in the center of the screen. Hit stop and move him over here so we can see what he's drawing. Wow, it's a pretty cool spiral of circles. I like that a lot. Well, suppose we change, we don't change the pen size. I'm gonna take that block out. Let's see what designs we get. So it's like a multicolored circle. How about we have him move Uh, let's have him move and then turn and then turn again and see what we get. Well, let's put him back to the center. So we can try all different kinds of patterns with our sprite. In fact, if we don't do it in a loop, we could get him to move, turn, let's say 30 degrees, and then I'm gonna have him turn, let's say 100 degrees, and then I'm gonna have him turn, let's say 50 degrees, and between each of those, I'm gonna have him move 10 steps. Let me set the pen color back to a dark color, and here we go. So he did it really fast, but you can see he can draw little pictures. So play around with this see what kinds of images and pictures you would like to draw, and feel free to share it with me when you get back to class. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with playing with it on the snow day. I'll see you next time.